Hey, what's up? I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I received in the box, daily goodie box, for the month of October. There's only one more day of October left, so I kind of had to get this video done. It's been very gloomy outside, so I haven't had really good lighting, but it's still pretty bright today, even though it's raining. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I tried some of the products, as I always do, so that I can give you kind of like an honest review of if I even liked any of it. So, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this, which is like the cutest and probably like my favorite thing in the box just because of how adorable it is. So this is the Adora Therapy Room Boost. This is in the scent Serene. It's lavender and chamomile. Um, and this is basically like a room spray. You can spray it on your room, spray it on your pillows, spray it on your yoga mat. And I just absolutely adore this like boxed packaging and it has this little thing, super high quality, slides out. <laughs> Look how cute the spray is. So. The annoying thing about this though is no matter how many times I wipe it, for some reason it's like oil on the outside. So it's like the base is oils and essential oils and you can smell it even when you open the box, but it gets all over the place. So I really like how this is one shade of pink and this is another shade of pink. And this is what it looks like, but yeah, you can see like there's like oil droplets all over it. So it's kind of messy and not very convenient, but if it doesn't have that problem with the other packages, then I would say it's very good for gift giving and it smells so good the lavender and the chamomile but i i want it to like not be messy because it gets all over the place um all right so yeah mist linen's home office or other personal space including yoga mats and the ingredients list is not bad it has bergamot lemon oil chamomile oil geranium and just some like preservative Okay, then I also got this, which is called a Spatty. That's the brand. So this is Extend Your Beauty Spatty. Get to the bottom of it. So this is basically a fine tip, well, actually small tipped pointed sponge. So you can get to the bottom of your lip glosses, um, not your mascara, but like your lip gloss or your foundation. You can see an example right there, um, which helps you save products. So you save money. So this is actually a really convenient and cool um, reusable, dishwasher safe, FDA approved, BPA free uh, product, which would help you save money and you get up to 25% more product. As long as you can easily clean this and you can use lip, um, lip gloss and foundation and not have to use like one sponge per item. But honestly, this will probably save you enough that if you had one for lip gloss and one for foundation, it would still be worth it. <coughs> okay. Ooh, what was that? All right, so. I also got this, which is Crunch Master's Sprouted Protein Snack. So this is in the flavor Smoky Balsamic. So I actually did try this. And this is basically just flavored mung beans. I've never had sprouted mung beans before. Um, they're kind of like not hard to chew, but the texture is like not really crunchy. But they're kind of like almost naturally stale. I do like the flavor. The flavor is like not really strong, but... It, it likes it kind of smells like something that would go really good with like locks because it's like smoky so that's what it like reminds me of and that's what they look like i don't want to take it out it's actually a really cool angle so yeah not bad i mean they're pretty high calorie compared to like other plant-based things that you could eat or like if you ate like a packet of tuna that would be a lot healthier but this is a unique snack that i've never heard of but they're not very crunchy even though it's called crunch master okay moving on so these are the um, sweetened xylitol ice chips. So the brand is Ice Chips, and it's supposed to be a real peppermint candy that doesn't promote tooth decay because it has xylitol instead of sugar. And the ingredients list is pretty good. So it's just xylitol, peppermint oil, cream of tartar, and calcium stearate. So you might even be able to eat this without like straying too far from like a natural foods diet. Um, And like this is what they look like so they actually are like little like chips and they're very pepperminty i quite enjoy these like i was actually surprised how good these are they're pretty strong so they're like better than like the typical peppermint candy that you might eat if you want your mouth to be fresh so depending on like how my body reacts to these i would probably just like keep buying these because i actually really like the concept of it and the ingredients list is short all right another food item that i got you could oh gosh yeah, I did a bad job of keeping this packaging, but I ate the whole thing. So this is the Patter Bar. There's a lot of brands that are like this, fruit, date, and nut bars. So this is coconut and cashew 
Um, there's no added sugar. It's literally just cashews, dates, unsweetened coconut, coconut oil, and sea salt. So I like the texture of this. It was definitely soft because it has a decent amount of dates and it has coconut oil in it too. I do think I had a weird GI effect though because lately I haven't been tolerating nuts very well. But other than that, I thought it tasted really good and it was definitely coconut flavor. So that's just another healthy snack bar option out there like all of the other bars that are very similar. It's not a very unique concept at all, actually. It's very similar texturally to other bars as well. Okay, moving on here, I'll go with this. This is the last item for consumption. So this is the electrolyte electrolyte beverage. This is the grape flavor, um, definitely not like made with like supernatural stuff. It's like water, some random ingredients, natural grape flavor. It has fake coloring. Um, so I'm not going to drink this, but this is supposed to be hydrating because it has all of these minerals. It's always best to get your minerals from food people. And the last item, this is the second time that I've gotten heat holder socks. I got gray ones before through Daily Goodie Box. So these ones are pink and they are like super fluffy. I didn't like that this part is like pretty tight on my leg. So I actually never really wore the gray ones, but you can definitely feel the fact that they keep you super warm and they're soft and they don't make you sweat. So it's like a thermal sock that doesn't make you sweat and you can like feel the super softness every time you're walking. And these are like made specifically with a thermal grade. So they're not just like regular socks. You can see it up here. So like um, TOG, thermal overall grade. And it's like scientifically tested to be warmer and it has this like patented looped cushion pile to hold warm air, increasing the thermal rating. So yeah, it's like Japanese designed and not a typical sock. Okay, so that was everything I got in the box. As usual, they send like coupons and just like information. And oh, apparently those ice chip things were on Shark Tank. So that's pretty cool. There are some cool things that show up on Shark Tank. Um, yeah. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I have other unboxings if you'd like to watch them. And if you'd like to sign up for Daily Goodie Box, I have the information in the description box below. Have a wonderful rest of October and enjoy the rest of all of the other months as well. All right. Bye.